for this Friday morning devotional message, I want to talk about us viewing our relationship with God through a lens of love and not legalism. In fact, how we see the scriptures themselves. I also want us to uh, think about kind of as a byproduct how that every need in our world is an open door to show God's love. When I was lost in legalism, and I tell people I'm a recovering Pharisee, meaning I haven't fully recovered, but when I used to be entrenched in legalism, uh, one of the verses that always uh, was brought up in uh, condemnation of uh, of any sense of not keeping God's commandments was John 14 and verse 15, where Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commands. And I used to look at that verse and always think, man, I must not love God. Every time I saw myself breaking uh, one of his instructions. But I want us to unpack that verse and some other verses to see how God got the idea from that verse. So uh, when we think about the commands and what the commands are, John clarifies that in John 15 verses 12 through 14 as well as in verse 17 where he says my command is this love each other as I have loved you greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends you are my friends if you do what I command and then Jesus goes on to say in verse 17 this is my command love each other so he bookends uh, everything by saying that the commandment itself is love. Jesus is getting at the heart of the law, which is the love of God and also loving others. But here's the miracle. Uh, God knew that this new life in the Spirit would never be lived out if first sin wasn't dealt with. And therein bringing us back to a relationship with the Father. And also that the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus of God Himself who is love, if the Spirit was not placed inside of us when God gave us a new heart. This is the power to be able to obey God's commands, love, God's own love. This is why Paul writes in Romans 5 and verse 5, And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So he says there it's through the Holy Spirit. That's how we have the hope and the ability being empowered to do this very thing. As God abides in us, we abide in Him, and the fruit is love. Keeping Jesus' commands is easy if we receive His love and let His love flow through us. Paul prays about this in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 to 19. For this reason I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven on earth derives its name. I pray that out of His glorious riches He may strengthen you with power through His Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. So it starts with God coming to live inside of us. God is love, and this love invades our souls and permeates our entire life. It then exudes from us as we naturally live from the inside out, and that fruit of the Spirit. And so we're able to keep Jesus' commands and they're not burdensome because they come from our new nature, our renewed nature, our transformed nature, not our old one. In fact, uh, here's what 1 John 5 verse 3 says. It says, this is love for God to keep His commands and His commands are not burdensome. So we need to uh, change from looking at God and looking at Scripture through a lens of legalism to that of love. You even think about our own children. For those of us who are blessed with children, it's really a microcosm of our relationship with God. How many of us want our children to have a relationship with us based on guilt or obligation uh, or legalism? No, we want them to desire the relationship and to love us, to know the love that we have for them. And even more so, it is with our Heavenly Father, with our Savior Jesus Christ, and with the personal Holy Spirit. 
May we be refreshed by the love of God, and may God's love be what fuels our life, our walk with Him, our worship, and how we treat others.